target acknowledged. I actually do fuck all. See about that. Okay, that actually worked. I guess let's just stand there behind the walls. Be a good position. Forward to victory. Be vigilant. Another fragment back. We're killing them so easily this time. Because of the bolter, heavy bolter. I should give the commander the graviton gun, right? Extra spread? What? Why does this one have like 5k health and this one only 30... 400? A bit less? Can't read that, I'm fucking blind. Seems he has a shitload of help. How about you shoot him? Yeah, I think one of those mines actually just almost killed him decently. Yes, yeah, since he's doing that, let's just chuck a demo charge on him. Right? Okay, so those guys are fucked basically. Out. I know, I know, Mortals. Fuck off. How about you shoot him? Bullshit if I lost the game even though he will he's dead. That's much too big and old to be in an orc like me. Fool to all blood ravens. Prepare for emergency extraction to the Armageddon. We are facing far more than orcs or Eldar. Commander, Captain Thule needs your aid. Deploy to his position immediately. Okay, you okay? Cyrus here. Oh. Green. Xenos, 
Okay, these are actually the normal ones. Commander, I ordered all of you to extract, not to run to your deaths. Come on, they're not gonna even come close. We will kill every last one of them. Oh, I gotta wonder where the fuck were the orcs? What did they just go past like here and then into the city? That is a tyrannid spore. Ain't much I can do about that. Skip this? No. We'll melt the bombs, finally. Hopefully they actually do damage to the box. Or armor. How is this? A helmet? Okay. We face our darkest hour. Yeah, I can't Captain skip this. Cool has fallen to aliens who have escaped retribution. A massive high fleet looms over our recruiting worlds. It only took me two hours to get to this. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Get Captain Thule to the Apothecary. Hurry! Calm yourself, Thaddeus. Gordian is already at work. Commander, I am Apothecary Gordian, Chief of Genomedicine aboard the Armageddon. Captain Thule still lives, but he is in grave condition. Many of his vital organs and implants were destroyed, and an alien poison is attacking surviving tissues. I have placed Captain Thule in stasis to halt the poison's progress, but as of now, I have no means to counter. Really like flame stance. weapon damage resistance. What do you mean to use the use a flamer? Must you know? his tending. You fear the alien, Cyrus? I know no fear, Avatus. But I am no fool. Those were tyranids, alien monsters who strip worlds of all life. There are billions of them, and only a handful of us. Yeah. Have you faced these things before, Cyrus? Once, a long time ago, when I served in the Death Watch, we are going to need all the help we can get to face this infestation. Even then, we will probably fail. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our chapter fleets. This may take some time, however. In the meantime, we need to secure Typhon before the rest of the Tyranid Swarm arrives. Otherwise, our supply lines will be devastated. There is an Eldar raiding party that continues to wreak havoc on our defenses on Typhon. We should return to Typhon and eliminate those Eldar. Okay, let's see. Have on. these two. Virus. 
necessary slots for sure. I do know that the Imperial Guard are just gonna get wiped out instantly, so there's no point in like getting them at all. Guess let's What else can we give him? Get that for some more damage on the enemy. Armor, definitely. our supply lines between Typhon and Calderas. We have identified Already got the... those, man. So they're not cluster mines yet. Throw up, throw out a shitload of them. I think that's a Chaos Rising thing. Probably. Ring tearing, though. Our warriors have deployed to defend the target, Commander. Doom. To cover his escape, no doubt. Damn, he fucking fast. Grab the shrine real quick. We shall secure those resources. The enemy infests a shrine to the Emperor. We must eliminate them and retake the shrine. Commander, the choice is yours, but this will cost us time. Give him the grab gun, why is he... Get out of there, please. Now we're actually killing him. Took us long enough to actually get to that point where we can just kill the enemy. Fuck. You go over there, try to throw that at him, and I'll die. He actually fucking miss? He did. No, that thing can miss. Hopefully the grenades actually do damage. The vehicles are going to be an issue still. Get to that position, Fucking god, what a jump. I wish you had a kill count on your squads, like in multiplayer though. Actually know who's dealing damage. You humans always make a mess of things. No 
Okay, he still doesn't have health. Dude, like, Avatus is killing everything, like, always. Yeah, how about you throw a grenade at that? Nice. <laughs> I'm not surprised it hit the wall. among the orcs what do the tyranids have to do with eldar helping orcs a full-fledged orc uprising could actually slow the tyranids thaddeus if the eldar were not doing this on our own recruiting worlds we could use the situation to our advantage using orcs and eldar to stop an enemy why would we waste our time with that we are space marines we fear nothing because we are fear incarnate we may be fear incarnate, Avatus, but we face an enemy that knows no fear. Okay, we can skip that. Good. This victory will long be remembered in the halls of glory. I think I know what I'm gonna give the commander now. Plasma cannon. Hopefully, it's the one that tr has a triple shot on it. Probably not, though. Yes. Norse cover. Yeah. The Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the sector that is not related to the Orcs. Clearly, the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. I will keep you apprised of any further developments, Commander. What can you tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced. Do you fall for five? Vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the orc horde is weakened and scattered. A tyranid hive fleet, however, is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We can actually get the energy one. Morale, or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The Hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow. And it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, what else did we get? Let's equip these because they gave us more. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids. Wait, never mind. I want to get this shit. And we want to get the instant revival. Just in case we all go down. Mm, range damage. Yeah, this ain't gonna help us much. But let's keep that hit. That actually does some decent damage. Anything else? Not really. A message is coming in from Chapter Command. Commander, 
This is game. Commander, we have located Captain. Opponent uses superior troops and it's weak to flame. Who would have guessed? larger creatures to disrupt the swarm that will buy us the time to get to our target that's a one shot Captain Thule will have his vengeance I can't remember what we need to get for multiple drops in you know one day well, so we can do the multiple missions I think it's foundries foundries right I think, I think. or is it the RAs I'm not quite sure though Definitely now we got some damage, so we're not just getting destroyed over and over again. Look out, moving to capture. Probably the melt. Ooh. Probably the melt rounds, right? Probably. Yeah, seems like it. Let's send him alone, we'll see what it is that actually kills the enemy. It definitely seems like Abt is doing all the hard work. You're killing the enemy. How about you move a little bit back? Yep. in melee I'll watch you turn around and actually show the enemy for once. they can deal some damage you just make sure they don't get into melee Chapters be vigilant. 
There is the beast. Destroy it. Commander. Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the High Fleet. Our weapons are ready for honor and the Emperor. Standard firing mode. Victory is but a prelude to the next battle. Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Right, we can't skip this. Unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure... It would be good if we can actually skip this. Come on, game. Fuck sakes. The high fleet. And you must secure access to Angel... Alright, I didn't do the Avatar of Cain battle. The Chaos Rising on the last one. Will allow us to produce I think. No, I didn't. Deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Commander, we need to take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. The planetary government that. has been less than cooperative thus far. So be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out. Bureaucratic resistance. That's sight range still. Okay, we'll see how he does with us. Let's give him the bombs, the melt bombs. That. Any new armors? Nope. A 
should give him that. And as for Avatus, let's max out his LA first, then we'll go into health. this first commander welcome to meridian orbit my name is elena de rosa Go now let's see yeah he definitely needs that keep him alive Commander, the Eldar seamen. Okay, so this should do more damage to the Grav tank. Let's see how it does. Stay alert. The Eldar strike without warning. Our foes grow in strength. Now let's go down here first. Get the foundry. Forward to victory. Field Actually, let's see how the commander does on his own. Well, I mean, he's doing decent damage to it. The melted bomb does fuck all to it. Jesus fucking Christ, that has a lot of health. Fucking tank is gonna have him even more. Oh. Just when I thought we were overpowered, guess not. You throw nades at quick. Look at that, it even killed him. Fuck sakes. The enemy is here. Ready to serve. 
right here. So he has sight range, but he doesn't actually have, you know, range on his weapon. I guess that's not going to help us that much then. Actually, I want to use him and actually place mine so the tank actually runs in the, into them. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Guess not. Literally one shot his whole squad. Yes, yeah, stand there so you can hit us. Actually easier to kill it than the other guy, the other one. This is Abitus. Cyrus reporting for duty. Oh god, poor Cyrus. What shell does he have? Right, wait. Only 2k? No wonder he's dying that easily. I think he has the same amount of health he had at the start. 